Hi, Precalculus. Uh, today we are going to be talking about negative and Pythagorean identities. So our negative identities are, the first one is that the sine of a negative x is equal to the negative sine of x. The second <coughs> is that the cosine of a negative x is just equal to cosine of x, right? And um, the these go along with like cosecant and secant. So cosecant of a negative x is equal to negative cosecant of x. And along with cosine is secant of negative x is just equal to regular secant of x. And you're probably just going to have to memorize these, to be honest with you. Uh, finally, we have that the tangent of a negative x is equal to a negative tangent of x. And the cotangent of a negative x is equal to a negative cotangent of x, okay? So, sine, tangent, and their respectives, they stay, or they become, they stay negative and cosine becomes positive. All right, so we are asked to reduce these to a single trig expression. We have sine of negative x over cosine of a negative x. Well, that's going to be equal to a negative sine of x over cosine of x, which just becomes a negative tangent of x. Here we have tangent of negative alpha and cosecant of negative alpha. Well, that's going to become a negative tangent of alpha. I don't know why I kept that. Now I'm going to take that out of parentheses. We don't need that. Negative tangent of alpha uh, times cosecant is negative since it goes with sine. So this is times a negative cosecant of, I wrote that wrong anyway, of alpha. Gosh, I'm a mess today. Negative cosecant of alpha. So negative times a negative, uh, but actually let's simplify this so that we this becomes like sine of alpha. The negatives cancel out, right? Negative times negative becomes positive. So this is sine of alpha over cosine of alpha times one over sine of alpha. So those cancel out. We have one over the cosine of alpha, which is secant of alpha. Okay. So let's talk about our Pythagorean identities now. So the Pythagorean identities that we have, the first is that sine squared x plus cosine squared x is equal to one. And this is the main one, the most important one, but we can also think of this as sine squared x is equal to one minus the cosine squared of x, or we can think of it as cosine squared of x is equal to one minus sine squared x. And all of these are gonna be useful as we go through and continue talking about trig identities. Well, um, what we can also do is if we wanted to here, we can divide everything by, um, I'm just not gonna do it, but I'll just tell you this also. If we wanted to, we can divide by cosine squared of x, right? So we would divide every term here by cosine squared of x, right? And that's gonna give us tangent squared of x plus, or sorry, is equal to, <laughs> is equal to one over cosine squared of x is just gonna be secant squared of x minus one, okay? So actually what I can write this as is just that tangent squared of x plus one is equal to secant squared of x, right? Um, and so these are also trig identities, Pythagorean identities of trig. There's one, there's one, there's one, there's one, yeah. Okay, likewise over here, we can divide everything by sine squared of x, divide by sine squared of x, divide by sine squared of x. So this is going to give us cotangent of x, cotangent of x, is, cotangent squared, sorry, cotangent squared of x um, is equal to one over sine squared is just cosecant squared of x minus one. And we could write this too if I wanted to as cotangent squared of x plus one is equal to cosecant squared of x. So we have two more right there, and there's that one there. Okay, so lots of Pythagorean identities. So let's actually practice using these. Here we are asked to reduce to a single trig expression. We have tan theta, cosine theta over cosecant theta. So the first thing we're gonna do is rewrite this in terms of sine and cosine. So this is sine theta over cosine theta times cosine theta 
I'll just put that over one for the sake of doing it, over one over sine theta. Well, these cosines are gonna cancel out, so this is actually going to equal sine theta over one over sine theta, which is equal to sine theta times sine theta, which is just sine squared theta. That's our final answer. Here, we're asked to verify this identity. We are given cotangent x, cosine x, plus sine x, and it's equal to cosecant x. So, give me one second. So first we'll rewrite it in terms of sine and cosine. So this is cosine of x over sine of x times cosine of x plus sine of x is equal to cosecant x. Just leave that there because we're trying to verify. So we really should leave one side the same. So this becomes cosine squared of x over sine of x uh, plus sine of x is equal to cosecant x. All right, so now we really need to have a common denominator. Well, for that, we're gonna use sine of x. So this becomes cosine squared of x over sine of x plus sine squared of x over sine of x equals cosecant x. Well, this is cosine squared of x plus sine squared of x over sine squared of x, or sorry, just sine of x is equal to cosecant x. Well, cosine squared plus sine squared, that's just one, right? That's our Pythagorean identity. So this is one over the sine of x, which is equal to cosecant x. So cosecant of x is equal to cosecant of x. All right, we did it, we verified. All right, let's do a few more examples here. We are given tan squared theta minus sine squared theta is equal to tan squared theta times sine squared theta. I think this one's really interesting, but it works out really cool. So tangent squared is going to be sine squared theta over cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta equal to, and we're just going to leave the right side the same, sine squared theta, or tan squared theta, sine squared theta. So we need a common denominator again, and this time it's going to be cosine squared. So we're going to have sine squared theta minus sine squared theta cosine squared theta all over cosine squared theta and that's equal to tan squared theta sine squared theta. Now we can factor out a sine squared. So we take out sine squared theta, we're left with 1 minus cosine squared theta and that's all over cosine squared theta equal to tan squared theta sine squared theta. Okay. And then once we do that, we can break this up. So this is equal to sine squared theta over cosine squared theta times one minus cosine squared theta. So equal to, same thing on the right, sine squared over cosine squared is tangent squared and one minus cosine we know is sine, so this is tan squared theta sine squared theta is equal to tan squared theta sine squared theta. We verified it. All right, let's just do one more and then uh, we'll be done for today. So here we have tangent of x minus cotangent of x over tangent of x plus cotangent of x equals one minus two cosine squared of x. So let's break this up. So we have sine of x over cosine of x minus cosine of x over sine of x all over sine of x over cosine of x plus cosine of x over sine of x. And I'm just gonna stop writing this because I'm lazy, but you get the idea. So we're gonna get a common denominator. So this is equal to sine squared of x minus cosine squared of x all over sine x cosine x. All of that is over sine squared of x plus cosine squared of x over sine x cosine x and still equal to the right hand side. So this is the same as sine squared of x minus cosine squared of x over sine x cosine x times sine x cosine x over sine squared x plus cosine squared x. Our numerators and the numerator those cancel out, right? So now we just have sine 
squared x minus cosine squared x all over sine squared x plus cosine squared x equal, well, sine squared x plus cosine squared x, that is just equal to one, right? So now we just have sine squared x minus cosine squared x, all right? Well, what's that equal to? Well, we can think of sine squared x, can you see it all right? As one minus cosine squared x, and this is minus cosine squared x, and so this becomes one minus cosine squared x minus cosine squared x, which becomes one minus two cosine squared x, which is what we started with. And so we have verified that uh, situation. Okay, long lesson here, but hopefully it made sense. It's kind of fun to do. Just take your time and uh, yeah, if you have any questions, bring them to class. I'll see you then, bye.